everyone um, what I'd like you to work on this week is the third part of your sort of initial investigation which is all about trying to gather and analyze the useful measurements that you think you might need uh, throughout your project so this might be things that are going to be stored in the product that you're going to be made things that you might have to work around um, it can also be location you know if you think like cupboards and depth of worktops and that kind of stuff uh, it's also going to cover anthropometric data, which is all the, the various body sizes. So for a person, that's going to be things like hand measurements and range of movement, uh, and things like how far they can reach, etc. Okay. So what you can see here on the, the, the couple of examples here is um, obviously always start by explaining what it is that you're doing. All right. So you explain what uh, the purpose of gathering these measurements are and how they're going to affect some of the things of your product. Uh, try and be as hands-on as, as much as you can. Obviously it's going to be tricky being at home and no access to a, an actual real-life old person uh, but even if you are just gathering sizes of people in your in your house that's that's better than just getting all your information from the internet. Uh, a couple of other things is you can um, you can use a ruler in the photos if that's easier or a tape measure or if you make a note of stuff as you gather it you can you can add that talk about things always think about don't just state the information always try and talk about how the information can uh, can affect your product so if you were storing something then you might say well if I'm going to store 10 of these I'm going to need this amount of space or I could store them upright or I could store them this way uh, try and photograph things I know you're not going to be able to get to your primary users kitchen but you can always use your own kitchen for this um, could obviously add dimensions straight on. We've done stuff like that before with photographs so you know how to do that. Uh, when you're looking at the area um, think of certain things. Um, I know one of you is doing something that's going to be uh, running on the electricity so obviously the location of things like plugs is going to be important, the distance from worktops to, to taps etc. Um, and as with all the pages that you've done on initial, initial investigation you've always got to end with a series of of requirements, you know, conclusions that based on this information, my product must do this because of this reason, have this because of this reason. Okay, so you've got a week to do this. You've got plenty of time to have a, a real good, a real good crack at it. Um, it is a little more trickier than the, um, than may say, the other two pages, and you probably will end up producing two pages. You might do a page of anthropometric data and a page of um, sort of object sort of data. It is possible to squeeze it onto a single page, but don't worry if you find yourself going and doing this across two pages. That's absolutely fine. Also in the presentation is a, a what well hopefully is like a very straightforward breakdown of how you should approach each section. All right, so you uh, you should be able to get it from from this first page but if not this really breaks it down for any of you that find yourself that you're struggling okay and it literally it's just going to be something similar to this alright so state exactly who you're designing for describe which measurements you need and why you need them and then gather the measurements so this is some just from the internet so this is secondary not as good as actually photographing people highlight the information this is the key thing alright if you just put a picture from the internet and don't highlight anything that's any useful then it's 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 worthless as a bit of information and then again at the end analyze what you found alright it's not just a case of saying you know I need this here it is I found it you you need to talk about okay well how how might that information influence your design and don't forget general ergonomic things you know the shape of things the texture stuff that's not necessarily covered by measurements that you might need to make uh, allowances for same applies for the um, you know the the other measurements the the items that you might need again if you can get pictures of real things so if you're doing stuff for the kitchen then you could take real pictures of, of taps and knives and stuff like that stuff that's actually going to be used with it um, and you can put you put your measurements on those photos that will always look ten times better than just finding images off the internet and putting sizes on them okay um, again explain why you've done each thing you know why have you got a photo of the kitchen with that plug highlighted there's got to be information for that make sure that the measurements are clear um, 
always like a double ended arrow with the actual measurement. Millimeters is best, but you know, as long as you're consistent, if you stick with centimeters, that's that's fine. Just don't mix mix things. And again, just round out your page with some requirements. Now I know you've been doing requirements, but the whole point of each of these pages is that you could literally copy and paste each requirement that you found from your research onto your requirements page. And uh, you know, so, so you're saving saving yourself a lot of work. The final thing I've added is is a couple of examples of people that did really well on this um, in in previous times. So again, you can see useful measurements, ergonomics. Each one has been split up across two pages. This person here has got some nice hands-on as well as stuff that they found. Okay, the information you can see everything's. We've got little arrows and stuff. Now, depending upon the project, so this person, it made sense for them more so for to, to have the human measurements. And then the only sort of product they needed to work around was a wheelchair. All right. Uh, same for this person here. So they've gathered measurements from, from a particular product that they might work around. You know, they've also got sort of punch bags, etc., uh, equipment that's used for, for boxing training. So that's why I've said it. I've, I can't strictly say it's a page for this and a page for that. It all depends on your project, you know, right? You might do half a page of anthropometrics and a page of half of measurements. It's it's going to work out in in whatever way that you want to. Okay, so as always, any problems, just um, get in touch with us via email. But the key with this is just to is just to get on with it as quick as you can. And then that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm and over summer, I'm just going to set deadlines for the pages that we've that have already kind of been done so you've, you know the requirements page the rough ideas and the first two pages development it's all stuff that you've done but I'm just I'm just getting it in so it's all in the same uh, section of, of, of the marking for, for Firefly okay thanks good luck